Welcome to the National Army Museum's Accoutrements and Social History Store. Down here at the store, we've got an amazing range of objects. Accoutrements are basically everything a soldier gets issued, except for their weapon or their uniform. So there's an amazing range of small items and personal equipment in here. Social history is more about the human side of things. They're the items that soldiers pick up while they're serving overseas, mementos, souvenirs, those sorts of things. And there's an amazing range of treasures throughout this store. The accoutrements collection has such a wide range of objects in it. Now for example, in this compactor, we've got footwear, right from World War I through to modern day. The museum has thousands of objects in exhibition, but actually the majority of the collection is held in stores like this. When you're looking at military history, it's easy to get focused on the soldiers. But there are a lot of people who weren't facing the shot and shell in combat who also suffered. This here is one of my favourite objects that tells the story of what happened on the home front and the tragedy that happened there. In this unopened parcel are the personal effects of David Robertson. Now he was a soldier who fought in World War II and was captured in Greece and he saw out his entire war basically in POW camps. Now David left behind his fiancée, Ina, and what happened at the end of the war was truly tragic. He boarded a ship in Italy to go back home, and Ina knew he was coming home, but somehow, on his voyage home, he fell overboard and drowned. Now what they did with his objects was they packed them up, put them in this parcel, and sent them home to his fiancée, Ina. And she carried it with her for the rest of her life. She never had another fiancée, never had another boyfriend. She hung on to David's letters that she had got, and she never ever opened this parcel of his personal belongings. We can guess that maybe there's diaries in there, maybe there's photos in there, but we'll never know. The thing is, we could have a look in there and find a diary, but this object here, the fact that Ina could never bring herself to open, it tells us far more than a diary ever could. It tells us about the grief, about the loss, about the suffering of the people back home during World War II. And those stories are often overlooked when we look at the big battle. People have got to remember that everybody suffered in New Zealand during the World Wars. It wasn't just the soldiers, it was the people they left behind. People like Ina, who carried this and carried a flame for David for the rest of her life.